on today's video i'll be showing you guys how to create a prototype on figma that uses a real keyboard you know uh when you're using figma you can't really add like a real keyboard uh in figma because there's no functionality that lets you do that so you can't really like add real keyboards apart from maybe if you add a component here which means and even when you add a component you can't really like type in things like a normal app would so there are two screens that would be showing guys how to add a real keyboard to first would be this screen here which uh provides a space for the keyboard to show up then the next would be this screen that uh you need to like move up the elements in order for you to be able to add a keyboard to the screen so let's get started uh the first thing you need to do is to install protopy also install the plugin on figma uh, i think protopy has a free plan so you'll be using the free plan for this uh tutorial so once you've installed uh protopy you can also go to the plugins search for plugins you would see protopy then you can now save and also run the plugin so i already have uh, the software open here i already have a uh, protopy open in this section so by default it will show um the uh artboard size so you can adjust it to fit depending on your ad artboard size so right now i'm using an iphone 11 pro max so let's uh preview this okay so let's export this to prototype first this is the login screen so i would select this go to plugin select prototype make sure the uh, screen you want to export is selected then I would export it at, as a scene to Protopy. So Protopy uh, takes uh, the designs from Figma as scenes, not as uh, frames. So once you are inside Protopy, you have uh, this here. You have this email address section, you have our password section. So uh, you know that the input for these two sections is going to be different, but let's preview this and see how it looks first. So if I tap on preview and see how this looks, it looks very, very clean. I think it looks uh, way cleaner than the Figma uh, version, but let's keep going. So right now, what we, what we want to do first is to add it to add an input layer into this uh, section. So that's what we we'll do. We we'll would come to this uh, text uh, functionality, select input, then we come here, drag it like this. Okay, now can now zoom in let's uh zoom into this we'll try to blend this to match what we have here so i uh, would we'll take this down the color of this is uh, i'm trying to get the color of this particular rectangle so i can make it editable so it will show up the color so the color is uh, this uh f4 f4 fb so i would copy this Come back here, select the placeholder, find the color of the uh, placeholder itself, which is, um, if I scroll down here, you can see the fill. Change the fill to match. Now, this will match this. Now, we need to change this to match this font here. The font here is, um, this is, uh, let's see, make editable, plus to Jakarta Sans. Okay, it's like this. So you can see if we tap here, we can type in something here. But let's just uh, clear it first. Okay. Then we try to adjust this. See if we can get plus Jakarta Sans here. Plus. Oh, great. Okay. I, I don't think that I have the font installed. So I would uh, default back to a default font. Let's use uh, SF. SF Pro. Yeah. I'll use SF Pro for this instead. So um, I will drag this right on top of here. Then I would make my adjustments. Also, I would also delete this section because I don't need to delete this. Drag this inside this container, then drag it here. Just drag to adjust. Then uh, let's change this to what was here before, that's email address. So with this uh, input container selected, you scroll down, you see the placeholder text. Let's change it to email 
address see it's synced so let's preview this preview so you can see i can use type anything i want to type here inside to uh type okay now let's work on the password field so we can clear this and go back to using the password field so for the password field i would also du duplicate this layer and and add it here so but before that what i would do is to rename the layer so i can know the exact layer that i'm, I'm working with so i'll call this uh email input you can rename by double tapping the uh the layer and you can rename it and save yeah so let's go to the next one which is the password so i will duplicate this by holding uh option key and dragging if you're on windows you use alt and drag so duplicate this choose that email input two then I would also delete what's behind it. Delete this layer, so I can delete. Then I'll drag this to fit into this layer. Then I will scroll down on this part and rename this to password. Okay, now let's preview this. So you can see, you can type our email address you can type our password but here's there's a problem with this, with this password field it shows up um the characters which isn't how password fields work so what we'll do will be to change the input type for this pass for this uh input field so we'll come to this uh select the input layer we scroll down to the bottom here now we change this keyboard options to password to text password now what happens when you use text password is um let's preview it again and see you can type in text and it shows up as a password like this but if you decide you want the person to use only numbers so it's trying like a number password so you change this to number password the input will be different so you can see it change it changes to this input if we switch it back to um sorry if we switch it back to text password it changes back to this option so that's a very fast way that you can add um add a keyboard to your figma prototypes then the next one we'll be looking at will be adding a keyboard to this uh this second screen here so let's uh export that to protopy as well so i will select this go to plugins select protopy Tap on export to export this as a new scene inside Protopy. So this is another scene. So let's uh, work on this. So I'll come here, select this, delete, delete, and select it and delete as well. So um, let's create our input fields. So I'll come to this section where we have text, select this, go to input, drag across this layer, make sure it matches the color by selecting on that i can edit it Let's change the color copy this then i'll select the input input uh, container scroll down to fill change it then delete the section behind it the text behind it adjust this we call this first name change the place the first name you come to the placeholder section by the right of your screen and change it to first name now remember to name your input so you know what you're doing so let's remain rename this by tapping it twice call this uh first name duplicate by holding option and drag dragging on your mouse then i will also delete this call this last name going down here and call this last name okay let's address this also rename it to last name 
So come here, delete this, duplicate, drag. Then you just um, rename this to last name. Scroll down on the right. So you name this to email address. Then we name this as email address. Change the password field. Let's duplicate this. We need to delete this. Delete this. Drag this up. Adjust this layer. Adjust this layer. Okay. Adjust this layer. Then rename this to password. On your right, scroll down. Rename this to as password. Then we change the input type to uh, text password. Okay. Then uh, once we're done, let's rename this to password. It's important to name your layers in Protopy so you don't get lost. So those layers that you'll be working with, you have to name them so it's easy for you to know what you're doing. So let's preview this. So I can tap on first name, enter first name, tap on last name, enter email address, but this keyboard field it's covered so i can't really see what i'm typing so i need to move this up so what we'll do is to create a container for this section so what we'll do is to go back here select everything here and select and tap uh, command g or control g if you're on a windows laptop what that does is it adds this to a container that you can move and you can move up or down or side or anywhere you want to move this to so let's uh work using this so i want this um i want this uh, this uh page to move up whenever i select the password field so what i would do is to take note of the position on the y-axis which is 131 so you can see if i move up here you can see this moves up to 121 this is 111 so I'm estimating probably around 71 will look good. So let's try 71 and preview. Nice. So I can see what I am doing. Okay. Now let's reset this back to the default, which is 131. So add a trigger. Add a trigger for focus. You can see it's under input. So I'll tap on focus. What focus means is when that input layer is selected, what happens next? So once it's focused on the password field, I want the container, which is this. Let's call this a uh, scroll. Yeah. Let's select it. I want it to move the scroll container. This is the scroll. Once it's focused on the password field, I want it to move the scroll container. Now I need to set the values. I want it to move to 71. Yeah. So remember on then under focus focus has two modes it has it has a focus in and focus out focus in is when you tap on the info input field F focus out is when you tap out of the input field so we want this to be able to scroll back down once it's once the person finish, finishes typing their password so we create a, a new trigger yeah go to focus remember to select the password field change focus to focus out then come here move the container you select come here and change the container to the scroll container i want it to move back to 131 okay now enter so let's watch how this works so if i go to preview here you can set you can tap my first name last name email address and once i go to password it pushes this up once i tap out it moves it down but i also want the email address for you to also move up to also have the the uh focus out the attribute so what i would do is to uh come to this to come here add a new trigger add trigger focus yeah i want this to focus on the email address field yeah i want it to move to i want it to move the container change the container to, to the scroll i want it to move to say 111 once it's selected 11 so uh, it's going to move to 111 on the y-axis whenever the 
uh, email address field is focused. So let's say, then you'll now come to here. You can also right click and duplicate this. Now it, sh it shows up here. And I, I, I'll change this to focus out. Come here. I want it to move back to the default, which is 131. Enter. So now let's see how this works. I go to preview, enter my first name, enter my last name, enter an email address. You can see it moves up a bit once I go to the email section. Then I, once I go to the password field, it moves up. Then once I'm out, it moves back down. So that's an easy way to add a keyboard to your design. So if you need any uh, other if you have any other questions, you can always ask me and I would respond to that. Stay safe and have a wonderful day. Peace.